Okay, um, back here at Greenbrier for some more Mega G testing uh, before I uh, do some Dr. Frankenstein on some of the cars. Um, what I'm going to do is rerun the times that I, I had last time because temperature and everything, humidity, all make a difference. So we'll start off with doing that. Uh, we'll see what we get. which I forgot, but sometimes I drive better without glasses and I can't see what I'm doing. Alright, 4.4. I remember correctly, that was the time that the short wheelbase car was able to hit. Um, let's take a quick look. I'm just keeping it on the stand here. closer so we can see the numbers so that was a long wheelbase uh, 4.4 uh, with the stock tires stock sit up all right uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, put on uh, a different set of tires and see how that works See the track here. All right. No. These are super tires. I got They're a little bit smaller. Seven four is what we got with the stock tire. find it I could push a lot more in the turns. Uh, I had a lot of stick. So I'm gonna come over here, see what we got. And what 
dropped those tires. We were able to drop down uh, to 4.240. So, um, yeah, it's a little bit faster. Two tenths is a good bit. Really stuck. I uh, don't know how it will, you know, how the heat issue will work. Because um, trying to figure out the heat inside of a can motor is going to be a little bit different than uh, normally with the slot tech type cars, uh, the T1 and stuff like that, or the, or the uh, Viper kind of cars. So um, that's that one. So we'll go ahead and change uh, cars and uh, see what we get with that. I'm going to go ahead and uh, start a new video for that one.